Hey everybody, I'm back again, this time with uh, some more of my uh, individual player collections that are a little bit on the smaller side. Uh, this time I'm just going to go over some of my Ernie Banks and then some of my Richie Ashburn collections. The idea here was to, uh, to collect uh, most of the banks from the 50s, 60s, and they had a couple in the 70s. And then I was looking also at collecting some, some Richie Ashburn cards as well. He's a fellow Nebraska native like myself. so. Uh, that was the interest for that, but here starting with the Ernie Banks, uh, you've seen this one in a previous video, is a 1954 Topps Rookie uh, PSA 6, that's a nice card. Uh, on to his uh, 56, I don't have his 55 yet. Then on to 57, and his 58 All-Star. On to uh, 59, the uh, Cubs Clubbers, and his regular 59. And then his 59 uh, Hustle, Hustler Banks wins MVP. And then his 59 All-Star card is 7. That's pretty good shape. And then his 1960 Tops uh, 7. That's in good shape. And his uh, 60 Tops All-Star card. On to uh, 1961. His uh, NU card scoops. Not for certain. The independent card maker, somebody a little different uh, than his top stamp from '61. Uh, this card's in really good shape. His uh, home run leaders card from 1961. Then on uh, into his 1960 regular, and then his '61 uh, MVP cards. On to uh, 1962 and '63. Now we're on down to 1964. His uh, his tops stand-ups. I really like those stand-ups. They got good color. Hard to get those in high grade because they chip real easy and those and the color borders make it really difficult. But uh, that's a nice card to have. Uh, 1964 and 65. Then on to 66 and 67. 68 and 69. They use the same exact picture. They just zoom up a little bit in 69. Uh, that's tops uh, saving some money there on the photography and then um, 69 stamp and then on to 70 I think that's a high number it's 1970 card then is 1970 Kellogg's uh, once again I love the Kellogg's uh, 3d imagery on that that's a great card and then uh, his Dell team stamp and then on to his last card it's just a six it's the 71 uh, tops variation and then lastly, the last Ernie Banks thing I have is just this uh, 1960s armor coin. Uh, nothing special. Now I'm going to go on to uh, a couple of Richie Ashburn cards I have. Uh, this isn't that big of a collection, but uh, I, I'm just still working on this one. Uh, starting with this 53 Bowman color. Uh, beautiful card, great photography. The 53s are, are known for that. And uh, even though it's just a 5, I really like that card. And then on to 54 Bowman. And then on to his, uh, his 50, 54 tops. A uh, really good card. Got this in a 7. Really like that card. And then the, uh, the 55 Bowman with the TV set. That's classic. I really, I really like those. Uh, once again, those are hard to get in a good grade because the uh, the chipping issue and the fact that they have those dark borders. On to uh, 56 and 57. I think I paid like $10 for that 57 one. It's, it's off center <laughs> and it's only a 5, but... Uh, uh, then I've got the uh, 58, that one's in pretty good shape for a 6.5, and then his 1959, and then his 1959 uh, Hitting Kings with uh, Willie Mays. Then on to his 1970 card, and, excuse me, his 1960 and 1961. He's uh, with the Cubs now, he's in the twilight of his career. And then uh, on to the Mets, uh, just his 1963 Topps peel-offs. And then the last one I've got is, uh, is actually the 54 Red Man Tobacco. Now this one is interesting. Uh, you'll see these sometimes with and without the tab. Uh, the tab, uh, you could clip it off and send it in to get a player's, like a genuine baseball cap for whatever team you chose. So, uh, so, so that's why you'll see some of them with the, uh, the tab off. But this one has the tab on and it's a PSA 4 from 1954. All right, that's all I have uh, for my... Uh, Ernie Banks and Richie Ashburn collection. Uh, thanks for watching.